Hey guys, today we're gonna look at one of the M2 memory cards and this one I just got here and this one is a XPG A data uh, one terabyte memory card M2 format and this is supposed to be one of the best uh, value price rank and um, that's why we kind of went with this one instead of uh, there's a top of the line Samsung but that's uh, like two or three times the price of this one and yet the performance is not that much different so let's take a look at this one and we're just gonna open it up see how it looks that's the first time I have never used one before and I'm just gonna see how it looks So this is how it looks, it's real tiny, it's very small, like you can probably see it right here. This is a Sharpie highlighter and this is how small it is, it's probably as wide as the, as the Sharpie, that's, that's how tiny it is. So it also comes with a heat sink which we're going to install on top of this memory card to make it uh, dissipate the heat better and we're gonna do this right now All right stay tuned so here it is and uh, what we're gonna do we're just gonna use a heat sink for this memory card it's got some 3m tape there so we're gonna put this on top of the memory card and you want to make sure to put it on the right side so let's take this card out. There's a little for the finger here. It's real tiny. Try not to grab the card where the, all the contacts because your fingers can have a little bit of electricity. So you don't want to shirt anything there. So this is how it looks. This card is so small. Little tiny one and it goes in computer this way so this this side would be the upside down you can see that actually the letters are upside down too so and it's not going like this so and since it's going oops since it's going this way we're gonna put a heat sink over here okay, so we're just gonna peel this protective film off and we're gonna apply this over here with the letters looking up and you can see there is a, a groove here so you just wanna match this groove together this groove is for the bolt to attach it on the motherboard there you go that's it that's so simple now it's all attached and we can go ahead and install this let's go all right, so this is our rig here, and this is where we're gonna install it. I'm gonna show you where exactly it, this one goes. So on your motherboard, there is a little place here where it says M2. Well, this one doesn't really say M2, but it's right over here, this slot here. This is where you're gonna install your M2 memory card which is supposed to be about seven times faster than a regular SSD that I have right now. So I'm gonna see how it, how it performs. I have got a little bit of dust in my rig here, so I wanna make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna do a little bit of vacuuming. Guys, make sure when you vacuum it, just f turn your power off. And you can do it by unplugging your uh, PC or you can just Use the, uh, use the button on the back of the 
power supply and just make sure it's off so it doesn't get any shortages and be careful don't break any uh, transistors or capacitors on the motherboard and you should be fine go ahead and install it it clicks it actually hangs out like this And all you gotta do is just gotta put the bolt in and screw the bolt in and it's gonna hold it in place. So there it is in place. You gotta screw this bolt tight. There it is installed there and we're ready to turn on the computer and see how it's working. Okay, so to make sure that our uh, window is going to be able to see this uh, memory stick, you got to go, you got to log into the BIOS, then go to the boot menu, then you can click A data. This is the speed of copying from a regular SATA SSD to a M2 SSD. We can see that it uh, tops out at about 480 megabyte per second. And after it's all done, uh, we're gonna transfer these same files from one M2 drive to another. Now we will copy files from one M2 drive to another and check out this crazy speed. It's actually going down. I was expecting more, but there we go, it goes up. So it's somewhere around one gigabyte per second. We do just one single file. I'll, I have a file of three gigabyte, and let's see how quick it's gonna transfer it. So it took like two seconds to transfer a three gigabyte file. That's pretty good. <laughs> Split this M2 drive into two disks. One I made for, I'm gonna install Windows on it. I made it out of 200 gigabyte, but it's actually showing 199. And the second one I made out of the rest, it's 752 gigabyte, which is the rest, whatever's left. Okay guys, so just to mention a couple more things here. So when you install the new M2 card in your computer, it's not going to be visible by your computer and you won't see it here in the boot uh, devices. So what you have to do is you have to actually format it and initialize the, that M2 card. And there is two ways to do it. You have to use uh, some kind of uh, drive management software something like a Cronus disk director or Norton or partition magic or any anything will work basically but there's two options so you can first do it you can install it on your uh, existing windows if you just uh, add in the card then format it and then it's going to start to be visible here or if you have a, a program that you can load under the BIOS, then you can just do that. And after you load it under the BIOS, you can do the same process. You can initialize this drive and then it's going to be visible in your boot devices. But another thing to, to mention is that when you actually even initialize it and format it, you still cannot install Windows on this M2 drive. And this is what I've had found out about uh, when I started to do that. And you have to follow up a little bit of a process to actually get to the point where you, when you can install Windows on your M2 drive. And if you want, I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing, hit that like button. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. 
and I'll be more than happy to, to help you and see you in another video.